Hey guys, I'm coming to you live today and I wanted to share with you, I found this recipe recently and I've been wanting to make it. The kids have been home from school today and we were looking for a little yummy snack. Um, so I wanted to share with you a keto, low carb, paleo blueberry muffin. Um, if you've been looking for a good muffin recipe, drop a one in the comments below. And if you're tuning in on the replay, drop a two. And I appreciate you guys checking this out today. So I'm going to show you what the ingredients are and then go through the process. And then we're going to make them. I've never had them, so we'll see how they turn out. Hey, Anna, how are you doing? All right, so first it calls for some almond flour, two and a half cups. I'm just going to go with the flow here. I already measured everything out, so it'll be a little quicker. There's my half. And then a sugar replacement, and I like to use Swerve. I don't know if you guys can see that. There we go. It's a granular. It's good for baking um, and very low in carbs. And there's that. So it called for a half of a cup. If I skip the measurements, no big deal. I'm going to put the recipe um, in the comments. Yes, I'm doing well. Thank you, Anna. And that way you guys can have it. So then the next thing it calls for is some baking powder. It said gluten-free, but I didn't have that, so we're going with what I have. Oh, just kidding. On the label, it's gluten-free. I didn't even realize that. So I have one and a half teaspoons of that. And then it says to mix it together. Hope everybody's having a good day. Can't wait to try these. I'm going to load them down with some butter. That butter makes everything better, right? Okay. And then it calls for the wet ingredients, which I've already pre-melted um, some coconut oil. It's in a solid form, so I melted it. You can also use butter. And I'm going to dump that in. Called for a third of a cup of that. And then also a third of a cup of almond milk. Then three eggs, so bear with me while I break some eggs here. Try not to make a mess. Whoa. <laughs> there goes three. Just a second while I wipe my hands. And then it called for a half of a teaspoon of vanilla. I think these are going to be delicious. I'm so excited. And I believe a third of a cup of blueberries, but I'm going to put those in last. And I decided to add in about two ounces of cream cheese just because it sounded delicious. I've seen a lot of like the pancake recipes and muffin recipes call for cream cheese. And I had it on hand, so I thought, why not? So I'm going to mix that together. Bear with me for a second. Crank it up a little bit. Looking pretty delicious. Okay. Get all that goodness off of there. And then I'll have to let the kids look that in a minute. Ah! And then it says fold in your blueberries. So here we go. I guess I'll do a little bit of a time. And these are frozen. Had them in the freezer. No big deal. And if you're not eating the whole batch, you're obviously going to be low in carbs. Um, don't go crazy. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to add that in my pre made muffin tins. Give it a little stir.
Monster. Not pre-made muffin tins. I don't even know where I came up with that. So I uh, put in some cups because it makes a mess. I'm going to fill them up and I will show you guys the finished picture and product and let you know how they taste. Thanks for watching. If you think you might make these, drop me a smiley face or a heart in the comments below and I appreciate you all. I'm going to get to cooking and I will let you know how they turn out. Thanks again.